हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल मिशन नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम सो गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज गोना बी एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एटॉमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर फिजिक्स पार्ट वी आर गोना हैव इट इज रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक दैट इज रोटेशनल स्पेक्ट्रा फ्रॉम द एटॉमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर फिजिक्स एंड फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी आर गोना हैव सो मैनी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच are there in the previous years you can find them you can even solve them for practice part and this is also one of the previous year questions which i am going to consider right now done so it is from the june 2013 csir net exam if i am going to talk about this question i am going to talk about every step everything related to this question so i hope after you are going to watch this video till the end everything will get clear to all of you now let's talk about this question and the steps you will have to take here to solve this question and also let me just tell you one more thing that the formulae in this particular topic are not so many even the questions are going to be quite easy ones so you all will be able to work on those questions very easily you just need to practice some of the questions okay to uh, work on such type of questions now if i'm going to talk about this one the question is consider the hydrogen deuterium molecule that is hd okay if the mean distance between the two atoms if the mean distance between the two atoms okay is 0.08 nanometers okay fine and the mass of the hydrogen atom is this okay that's good 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 then the energy difference delta e between the two lowest rotational states is approximately we need to find the energy difference now you want to find the energy difference so first of all you need to know about the energy expression because if you will be familiar with the energy expression for the rotational states then only you will be able to find the difference between two states energies so here i'm going to write the expression or the formula for the rotational energy what is that that's going to be h square upon 8 pi square i j into j plus 1 okay j into j plus 1 where j is the rotational quantum number and the values of j start from 0 so 0 1 2 3 and so on to what they have mentioned between the two lowest between the two lowest okay rotational states so two lowest means first one this and the second one this one and that's how you will put the values of j here so if i'm going to say delta e i want to find that means i will say e1 minus e0 that will be delta e and what is this suffix representing here that is the value of j if you are someone who was not familiar with the expression or the formula of the rotational energy now you need to memorize it uh, i have mentioned it here so you can even memorize it directly now what will be there the expression you are going to get further you can even write it as h cut square upon 2i okay that is only for the h square upon 8 pi square i term when you will write j is equal to 1 you will get 2 for the first one that is e1 and for e0 you will get 0 so this is how you will be able to get h cut square upon i only here okay now you will just have to simplify it further and that is your answer for this particular question h cut square upon i part only you need to simplify to get the energy difference h cut what is that if i'm going to talk about its expression in general it will be 1.01 into 10 to the power minus 34 but it is in joule second if you will check the options given to you they have been given in terms of electron volts so you will have to convert it okay in what in which unit like here it is in terms of what joule second i have mentioned okay so what you will have to do to convert it into the electron volts now you will have to uh, see you know 1 joule is equal to what that's going to be 6.242 into 10 to the power 18 electron volts okay this is the relation between the joule and the electron volt when you want to convert joule into electron volt you will have to multiply it with this one okay so then it will get converted into the electron volts done so convert it first then get the value in terms of electron volt and second clear just simplify it i hope you all will be able to do the calculation easily after simplifying it what do you need to do next the next thing will be that you will have to write the value of delta e completely what is that value that's going to be delta e is equal to h cut square so whatever you will get from here that is 1.01 
इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थर्टी फोर जूल सेकेंड्स इंटू सिक्स पॉइंट टू फोर टू इंटू टेन टू दी पावर एटीन स्क्वायर दैट इज एच कट स्क्वायर अपॉन देयर यू विल हैव वॉट यू विल हैव द आई आई प्रेजेंट इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो आई इज इक्वल टू वॉट इट्स को नाव बी म्यू आर स्क्वायर रिड्यूज मास इंटू आर स्क्वायर द मेन डिस्टेंस दे हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट नैनोमीटर्स सो यू कैन राइट आर स्क्वायर एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस नाइन होल स्क्वायर ओके बिकॉज इट वॉज इन टर्म्स ऑफ और इन यूनिट्स ऑफ नैनोमीटर्स सो आई हैव टू राइट इट नाउ वट अबाउट द रिड्यूज मास because we are talking about the hydrogen deuterium molecule which is a diatomic molecule so we will have to find its reduced mass it will be the mass of hydrogen into mass of deuterium that will be 2 into mass of hydrogen so that's how you can write it the product of both the masses in upon sum of the masses that will be 2 mh in place of twice of mh you can even write md that is the mass of deuterium okay when you will simplify it you will be able to get 2 upon 3 okay and the mh here so what is the mh value which has been given to you that is 938 mega electron volt per c square don't forget to write the c square value you will also have to consider it in the numerator part okay because the power will get simplified with that term too so be careful about the unit write the c square in the numerator part and do the further calculation here if you want you can even use the calculator right now and you will get the answer closer to what 9.5 or 9.2 something you can just check it out into 10 to the power minus 3 electron volts finally okay don't forget to consider the upon c square term it's very important it will go in the numerator part you will have to write its value write the power to like the complete thing and simplify the power as well so once you are going to get this thing you will have to check the options in the option exactly same thing is not present so i can even write it as 0.92 into 10 to the power minus 3 electron volt okay sorry and now it will be 10 to the power minus 2 why because here i have considered the more decimal places okay 0.92 and it will become 10 to the power minus 2 or if somebody is having any doubt or confusion at this place you can multiply it with 10 and divide by 10 so when you will divide it by 10 1 10 will be remaining there so that you will have to consider with this particular term or its power so that's how it will get simplified 0.9 is approximately closer to 1 so you will say 10 to the power minus 1 electron volts okay and that means which option will be correct option b this is how you can solve or simplify any such type of question from this question uh, discussion you need to memorize one thing mainly that is the rotational energy formula and the allowed j values this is corresponding to atomic and molecular physics part be careful about it if you are any time solving the question based on nuclear physics then the things can be different there can be the involvement of spin and parity part okay so that is a different thing but here as per the atomic and molecular physics this will be something you will have to do and these are the steps you will have to take also guys as you all know there are going to be test on the an academy learning app there are many free test even going on now so you all can check out those test okay in the an academy learning app for the gate and csir net exam and you can enroll in them too which are the free test everybody can attempt that or which are the plus courses test like related to the plus subscription so only plus learners or the plus subscribers will be able to attend them but the free test everybody can attend okay also guys if you want to attend the live classes of all the top educators regularly and you want to join all these important sessions and courses that then you can even take the subscription related to subscription today i am going to provide you one more information so whenever you are going to take the subscription you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as mentioned here no space in between spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it and you will get the discount by using this referral code too now here is something new for all of you guys a new update guys basically we are going to have the iconic subscription which is going to start on unacademy plus so as per this iconic subscription there will be two subscriptions one the plus subscription another one that is the iconic subscription so what are the differences in both we will talk about that too let me just tell you about some of the things related to iconic subscription so basically guys uh it is going to be your one stop solution or you can say one stop destination for csir ugc net preparation if anybody will take the 
iconic subscription then in that case they will get the personal coach study planner study booster sessions dedicated doubt clearing sessions uh, preparatory study material about that here is a note as well they have mentioned unlimited practice okay structured courses sop and interview preparation even you will be able to do with the iconic subscription what we mean by personal coach study planner study booster sessions preparatory, uh, preparatory study material and uh, personalized doubt clearing sessions or sop and interview preparation everything has been mentioned here you can even have a look at these points then what are the benefits in the iconic subscription or the plus subscription a learner will get or what are the differences between both if somebody is taking the plus subscription then they will get these four benefits which have been ticked here in the starting but if somebody is taking the iconic subscription they will be able to get so many benefits so there is going to be personal coach which means even at any point of time like in a day or night or any time if you want to ask any of your doubts the person will be available for you okay the experts will be available for you and they will answer your queries they will help you in your preparation any kind of difficulty you are facing in your preparation related to your timetable related to the motivation part related to anything they will help you in that case there are going to be study planner and bi-weekly reviews okay study booster sessions personalized doubt solving, SOP and interview preparation, preparatory study material for the iconic subscription. So it is going to start soon on Unacademy Plus, most probably from 15th January. Okay. And if you want to take the iconic subscription, guys, then you can take the subscription too. And you can use and apply the referral code, which is Anjali Aurora as mentioned here. No space in between. Spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video till the end. Thank you. And if you are new on this channel, that is Mission Net Physics Exam, then you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe written below this video. If you like the videos, you can even share them with your friends. And all these videos which I'm going to upload on this channel will be important for the CSIR net, gate, jest and even any other similar type of exam okay uh, which is gonna be PSG exam entrance exam or any of these exams the sessions or the videos will be important thank you everyone for watching this video till the end thank you